Okay, hello my friends. Um, <laughs> so I just finished recording the first episode of my Ray Chased Minecraft playthrough, and I was looking back at the video because it's my first one trying to do commentary while playing, like live commentary. Um, and I, I made a lot of mistakes in with like audio and my voice. So this is just gonna be a quick disclaimer. Uh, it's not gonna be a separate video. I'm probably just gonna paste this in the front of the first video so that when you play it, you'll get this disclaimer before you have to watch the entire thing. Just to kind of warn you of some of the, <laughs> the things that might annoy you um, when watching this. And if any of this sounds maybe too cringy or too uh, something you don't want to watch, then just don't watch this video at all because it's my first one, it's not that great, but I am still proud of it. Uh, the first issue that I made, which is probably what you can already tell now, is that the music and sounds are a little too loud. You can fix that by turning down the master volume a little bit, turning down the music, and also what we'll do is turn down the... Where is the... The movement sound, the sound effects. Where's the hostile creatures, friendly creatures, ambient environment? Like that. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But oh uh, yeah, turn down the audio because it's sometimes like during the level, I mean, during the video, uh, the audio was kind of competing with my voice. So I don't want that to happen so my voice can be heard and I don't get drowned out by the sound of the game. Uh, second thing, biggest disclaimer of this video, um, I have an issue with pronunciation. Um, I do say it in the beginning of the video that I already recorded, but I don't think I go too much in depth. I have a thing called, um, I, I forget what it's called, but it's something where you overpronounce your S's and they can sound really harsh and loud and hissy. Um, so I do apologize for that. It happens a lot in the video and I cringe so hard going back and l listening to the audio. Um, I'm still working on it because um, it's something that I can work on, but it does take time like before every single s would have a hiss sound now it still happens a lot but it's not every single time so i'm getting better um it's more about tongue placement when i pronounce s my tongue goes to the my two front teeth so it makes the hissing sound instead of just like a natural s so i'm still working on it uh the tongue placement is weird for me and i'm trying to figure out how to place my tongue not at the front but like maybe a little bit towards the back and not sound like like a complete idiot uh, while doing it. So that's the biggest disclaimer for the video. You're going to hear a lot of harsh S's that might hurt your ears. So um, I'm glad to give it a listen. And if you don't like it, then uh, don't watch the video because it is filled with um, overpronunciation of the letter S. Again, I'm still working on it. Uh, but yeah, um, with all of that said and all those disclaimers out of the way, if you still watch the video and you enjoy it uh let me know in the comments give me any tips uh about the game about making videos audio quality or just what you think about the video period um i'm down i will be reading all the comments that this video gets if it even gets noticed i highly doubt anyone will see this but um just let me know any tips that you might have um if you know how to get rid of my stupid s then let me know as well i greatly appreciate it but uh without further ado, you can get right into your video, and I do hope you enjoy. Alrighty, hello, welcome to the channel. Um, so, I had the idea to take it upon myself to be super original and make a Minecraft video about ray tracing. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Everyone watching this video probably already knows about Ray Traced Minecraft and how awesome it looks. Um, so I'm going to do a complete playthrough because there are not that many out there on the uh, on the internet that I've seen personally. I've seen maybe two to three people who did a playthrough using Ray Chase graphics. Um, it's really hard to run and you need a pretty decent PC to run it, but I have a PC that's decent enough to, <laughs> to push it, um, but it's nothing crazy or anything. So 
I'm a complete noob in Minecraft. I don't know too much about the game. I played a little bit when I was younger, but um, I'm not that good at the game. So I do know a few basic things and like how to survive, how to make a bed, how to make some tools. Other than that, it'll be a learning experience for me. And if you don't already know how to play Minecraft, it'll be a learning experience for yourself. So hopefully um, you enjoy the video. Also, just a quick disclaimer, I have a pronunciation issue with my S's. When I pronounce them, they sound really harsh and loud uh, in the mic, and I do apologize for that. I think it's called simplacent or simplacent S's, and um, if it's hurting your ears, I do apologize for that. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be mad at me in the comments, asking me, why do my S's sound like that? And I do apologize. I'm working on it. Uh, it's all about tongue placement. I don't know why I talk like that or why my S's are so harsh and in your face. <laughs> But I am working on getting the tongue placement down so it doesn't sound that bad. So I do apologize for that. Um, that's why <laughs> uh, I sound the way that I do. So just to answer a question that a lot of you probably already have if you're watching this. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this world. So <sighs> um, I'm also gonna do a quick run through over what I'm running in terms of like the shader and um, just a few settings in case you want to set this up yourself. Um, but be warned, if you're going to set this up yourself, you do need a really good uh, PC. So just a heads up there. Okay, so, wow. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Wow. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna run through some of the settings really quick. Um, so the shader that I'm using is the Seuss PTGI E12 zip. And I believe PTGI stands for path tracing something. I'm not entirely sure, but ray tracing, path tracing. Path tracing is basically ray tracing on steroids. So um, these are the shader options that I'm running. Uh, I'm going to turn some of these settings down since I'm recording so I can get at least 60 FPS consistently. Uh, okay, that should fix a few problems. But uh, And I'm also using a resource pack. That resource pack is... Um, where is it? I, I don't even know how to play this game. There we go. Uh, the 256X Poultra... Poultra? Yeah, Poultra Revisited. Um, so if you want to set this up yourself, then uh, that's what I'm using. Um, you need to support the people that made the shader and the resource pack on Patreon to get access to this. So, But I will leave their links in the description below if you... Um, want to go ahead and support them and also get these textures so you can start playing minecraft like this as well um that'll all be in the description and i don't know if anyone watches this video at all then i will make a tutorial on how to set everything up uh, but without further ado let's jump into it so i guess the rule of thumb for minecraft is to obviously get my hands on some wood that's what i'm going to be doing um the goal for my first day is to just get enough wood, um, no, <laughs> to get enough resources and tools down that I can set up camp and maybe a house, um, and maybe we'll find some sheep that we can farm, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I like the... <laughs> I love how fancy the graphics are, but they look a little too... Too exaggerated. Too refined, I guess. I guess. So I'm gonna take off the texture pack and just play like a normal Ray Trace Minecraft. Um, like normal and I guess based on the feedback on this video you guys can tell me which one looks better and which one you want to be in the next episode so I'm just gonna go ahead and change that really quick 
deal settings, uh, resource packs. Let's move that over. Get that loaded up. And plus, it'll make it a little bit easier for me to run. The, yeah, that's... Oh, okay. Wow, that looks so different. Um, let's see. Video shaders. If we're going to do this, we might as well crank the shadow quality. And then shader options. Ray trace options. Let's turn all this on high. Because we should be able to run that just fine. Okay, there we go. All right, so that looks a lot more natural, probably a lot better than uh, what it looked like before. So I believe to make us some wooden planks, we're going to just place that there and got some oak planks, nice and easy. And to make the crafting table, it's four of those. Hey, look, I remember a little bit. I'm not a complete noob. I do know some things. Um, how do we make sticks though? Uh, I think it's like that. No, no, that's not it. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, and then with sticks, we can make a tool, pickaxe, wooden one, not bad. And we can also make a axe, just like that, nice and easy. So, and with this axe, we can go, ooh. Oh, that's great. We got some coal there. Okay, so first let's get some stone so that we can make a stone pickaxe and stone the tools. Um, that should be pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so we got some, we got some stone. We could probably go for a little bit more because we also need to make a furnace to cook our food. to find some of this out nice and easy oh this oh cobblestone oh i thought this was all just normal stone what they look so oh okay so i i guess that makes sense wow i know nothing about this game it's embarrassing um but minecraft is really awesome and the music is super relaxing so that's mostly why i'm playing minecraft honestly it's just the nostalgia, the music, um, the relaxation, and how pretty the game looks when you have ray tracing on. So, um, hopefully, you all watching will enjoy the video. <laughs> um, and if enough people see this and enough people like this, then it'll be an entire series. That's a chicken. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but I need to eat. Okay, next. We have wood, so we can make some more... Wait, what? Pick up the... Okay. We need some sticks. Got some sticks there. Okay. Now we just do the same thing we did before. What? Is that... Did I do something wrong? Oh, this isn't... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so we had a different material. Wait, so what's this? That must be... Oh, okay. That's so trippy. I could have sworn that other stuff was stone, but we can't make tools out of that. I guess you learn something new every day. That's weird. Okay, let's see now. Now this should work. There we go. Let's take our sticks. One, two. There we go. Pickaxe. Nice and easy. We can go ahead and put that in our inventory since we don't need it anymore. And once we get some more cobblestone, we'll make ourselves a wooden axe. Okay, we also have some... What is this stuff called? Coal. I think this is what you use to make uh, torches. And torches are going to be super useful when it gets darker. I'm going to mine as much of this as I can. I believe you also use this in the furnace to cook food. If I'm not 
mistaken. Okay. What else is we over here? Need some more coal for me to mine later. Oh. Oh. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's a creeper. Okay. Holy crap. I almost died. What was that? Oh! <gasps> What is that? Is that a skeleton? It's a skeleton. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Wow, that was dumb of me. That legit scared me. Like, out straight out of a horror game. <laughs> so we gotta be careful. We gotta make some torches so we can keep those monsters away. Because I think they burn up in the light. So, so how do you make torches? I think it's like that, that, no? Then it must be just one then. Ah, uh, okay. I'll make 20. Yeah, 20 should be good. I'll keep the rest of the cold sticks there. Let's make a few more sticks. All right, nice and easy. Okay, we're probably running out of time. So we gotta get out of here. Gotta start looking where we should set up camp at. I'm not sure. I need a lot of wood so I can make a proper house. It's not gonna be anything fancy by any stretch of the imagination. It's gonna be a really ugly wooden house, but it's gonna be the first one. And when I get better, I'll make really fancy looking houses. But just starting off to be all wood. Okay. I think we almost have enough to finish off this tree. Okay. Good, good, good. Now we just need a flat area to make our house on. Some water over there, some pigs. Wow, there's a lot of wildlife here. That's going to be great. That's great. That's great. Okay, um, we need to find a flat field right here. It's gonna clear this up. Okay, that looks nice. Should be pretty good. I think that's enough. We gotta hurry up though. Hey there. I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry about that. I need meat. Ooh, I also need sheep. How many of you? One, two, three. Perfect. This one. We need three of these to make that. It's two. What's that sound? Ooh. What was that? What was that? Did you guys hear that? It's like that weird ominous sound. I have no idea what that was, but that's scary. We got our we got our uh, wool though, so we should be fine. Got to start making beds. Like I mean, a house like now. We need all of these that we can possibly get. Okay, we're gonna do this quickly. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one. No, no, no. That's all right. How do I do it? It's uh, to do five. And then, like, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Like that. Oh, it's getting dark. Ooh, it's getting dark fast. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. I can't see anything. Oh my god, it's so dark. This is bad. This is really, really bad. We need to make a bed and sleep. Like, now we can finish this house in the morning. We need a bed. We need to make 
a bed. I need to make a bed for the monsters coming out. How do we make a bed? How do we make a bed? I don't know how to make a bed. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Thank God. Got a bed made. <laughs> we survived the first night. Just bare oh, wow. Get away. Back, 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 back. Oh no, no, we're dead. No, we're still alive. We're still alive. What? <sighs> we should have died. I didn't know he could set me on fire while he's on fire. That's <sighs> okay. Wow. What? What a first day. What a first day, guys. That was. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's scary. I need to eat like now. I need to eat everything. Give me everything. Okay. All right, we can relax a little bit now. So we got to make some more tools. We got some sticks. We need to make ourselves another wooden axe. That's not how you make an axe. There we go. Replace that one. Okay, let's put that there. Let's put our bed here. So we can put our bed right there. And move this from here to over there. There we go. That's a bit easy. A little bit easier to manage. Um, what am I holding? I have no idea. Anyway, um, let me take some of these and finish our ugly wooden house. Something like this. I think this is good enough, right? And then we need to make a roof. How do we? How do you make a roof? Just place blocks, chunks. I have no idea. I know nothing about this game, and here I thought I knew a little bit, but no. I don't. I don't know that much. I don't know how to make a door, so I'm gonna cheat and use a little thingy that auto tells you how to do it. Uh, oak door. Oh, that's easy. I could have did that. I should. I should have experimented and tried to figure it out instead of cheating. But oh well. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we have a wooden house. It's really ugly and uneven. Why does it look like that? Uh, these are unnecessary. Yeah, let's remove those. Actually, why is it extended like that? That's so. Do I? Am I really that bad at building? Oh, it's where I placed the. Oh, okay. So let's fix this. Make it look a little bit better. We're not slobs. In this game anyway okay so we can put a door right here that looks a little better and then build up like that like that yeah that's better that's so much better okay let's get rid of you very nice okay look at that all right so let's Eat some more stuff so we can heal. And we are out of food to eat. Time to go hunting. Let's put a torch. No, we'll put a torch when it gets dark. But how do we make ceiling? Do we just put a block? That's oh, too low. I think there's a way. Oh, when we made the first bed. So when I was trying to make the first bed, I did something like that. And Oh, yeah, there we go. We can use that as a roof. I think that should be enough, right? I hope. Uh, uh, oh, that's nice. Look at that. that. That works out really well. Boom and boom. That's nice and cozy. Look at how the light filters through the door. It's ray traced graphics for you, man. That's insane. But uh, let's put a torch. Put one maybe there. No, not there. We can't place it there. We gotta put it like, like that. And maybe one right there. That looks nice. 
It might be a little ugly house, but I'm proud of it. <laughs> I haven't made anything this fancy. Not to say that this is fancy at all, but this is good for a house before. It looks nice and even. Except for this part. We gotta get rid of this. It's unnecessary wood. Okay, we need to kill some animals and get some more food. I'm sorry, chicken. Animal cruelty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was me or you. It was me or you. I'm sorry. We gotta go too. Yeah, we gotta go. Okay. We need to make a... Make it easier if we had a uh, furnace, because then we can cook food. And cooked food fills you up more, and I don't have to kill as many animals. Well, let's try and find some cobblestone. Not get lost in the process. Let's put a, yeah, so that, that'll be a marker so I don't get lost. Cause I can't even tell you how many times I got lost in Minecraft just trying to farm resources. Never make it back to my house and inevitably die by monsters. Let's not do that. Let's be smart about it. So is this cobblestone or? Let's see. Okay, it's cobblestone. Good. We need all of this. And we could make all stone stuff. And I think perhaps next episode we'll look for iron. Because I hear iron's really good for tools. And you could make a sheep. So when I need more cloth, I don't have to kill the sheep. I can just take the I can take their wool while keeping them alive. Which is good for both me, the sheep, and the environment. So let's go ahead and return home. I think we have enough. Yeah, we have enough. We have 24. It should be more than enough. Wait, what? where did I put my mark? I put a marker down here somewhere. Oh, okay, over here. See, this is what I'm talking about. I was literally right there, and I nearly got lost. But we should have enough to make a furnace now. Uh, let's, let's see. How to make a furnace? I think it's just one big square. Yep. We can put the furnace right next to that. Now it's an official home. It's not an official Minecraft home until you have your crafting table and furnace right next to each other. And then you have your bed and two little torches. Okay, now how do we and cook food and we put... Like that. Okay. That's good. That's some good stuff right there. Okay, so now we need to make some stone tools. We have a stone pickaxe, but now we need a stone axe. Well, that's pretty easy. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. How do I get rid of stuff? I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do anything. I think you can, like, throw it, but how do you... I want to get rid of this. How do I just, just toss... Can I... Oh, okay. That's easy. I can just do this. Drag that stuff there. And then... Wait, no. Like that. Throw away. Throw away. Throw away. Okay. It's always good to stay... I don't need that either. It's always good to stay organized. So things don't get too chaotic. Says the Minecraft noob that nearly got lost two feet from his house, but I think it's a pretty good tip. So now that we're semi-organized, we got some cooked pork chop. We can eat some of that so we don't have to kill as many animals. We can keep them alive. Um, I think you can make a farm too, like, uh, oh, what would be even better than that than just cooking food? I do know that you can do like a thing with the water and get like some grass seeds and then use a hoe off the top of like uh like dirt block that's near water and plant it and it'll grow wheat and we can make bread from that and go vegetarian 
No, we don't need to kill any more animals, but we'll get there eventually. For now, we're gonna have to kill a few. But we have full health, full uh, food meter, I guess we can say, and uh, level three, so not bad. We nearly died, but we made some serious progress for the first two nights or so. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling great about this. Uh, let's just organize stuff a little bit more. We can put that in our inventory. Inventory. Nice and easy like that. Okay. Alright, well, in the next episode, we're going to set the goals. So, the goal is to start a farm. Um, not an animal farm, but, like, start growing wheat. Um, once we start growing wheat, we can make bread and we don't have to kill animals anymore. And maybe find some apples. Now, apples are really good and they fill you up a lot. Um, and we'll also find iron, hopefully, if we don't die. Um, but yeah, that's the goal. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.